Kevin, I guess this this game, you're going into it in good spirit after picking up your first win against Cheltenham. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, real positive night. You know, overall we've kept a clean sheet, scored three goals, and created a lot of chances. So, you know, positive feel around the place um, off the back of that. So it was nice to get our season started. You know, get some goals under our belt, and um, I think everyone played their part. Um, what was it? What was a good night for us? Yeah, I, dare I say that you'd swap that win though for three points against Coventry. I think we go in one and win every game. So you know, in case of swapping, we, you know, we'll go in looking to win a game. Um, I don't think that will change throughout the season or how we, how we, or the manager, goes into games, um, wants to win football matches. Um, and this will be no different Saturday. We know how tough it will be, but one we can go off on the back of Tuesday night, you know, on a positive frame of mind, and hopefully get a, a good result. Yeah. How important was it to get Johnson Clark Harris off the mark, get his first goal in that game against Cheltenham there? Uh, get them up and running for this season. Yeah, absolutely. I think you know, obviously, I, I've seen only come in the summer, but you know, John had come in last January, and to see what he'd done goal-wise um, was a massive part of the club. So, you know, it's pleasing to get him on the score sheet, on the pitch, get minutes into him because obviously he's at a stop-start pre-season as such. Um, Tyler Smith got his couple of goals as well, which was good to see. Um, plus, you had the, the two lads who came on as well, Victor and, and Tom, I thought done very well when they came on as well. So, healthy competition. Um, which is at the, that end of the pitch, which is which is a uh, big plus, um, you know, and hopefully going forward, uh, you know, all four will contribute in a big way. Yeah, and you, you mentioned Tyler there. I mean, uh, you know, someone so young as well to get those goals now, it can only be a good thing, can't it, for the rest of the season for his spell here? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, you know he, he carries a threat. He, he's a spark and he's he's lively up top. Um, so they worked well together. I thought the two the other night, um, but you know we're carrying four strikers, so. Hopefully they'll all you know play a part in that. But um, please for Tyler, he needs these goals. Um, you know, and he's off and running for the season. Yeah, you say you only arrived in the in the pre-season here. So how are you enjoying your time at Rovers? Yeah, brilliant. Um, great club, a lot of good people here. So you know, settled in easy um, with the staff and everyone around the place. So you know, that that side of it's been brilliant. The players have been uh, really good. Um, there's a good group here, to be fair. Um, a lot of honesty about them. They, they, they work their socks off every day, to be fair, and. Um, you know, really enjoyed coming in every day and you know being on the grass with them, which is which is brilliant. Yeah, and, and you know Graham from before, so I guess that was a a, a main thing and wanting to come here as well. Yeah, absolutely. We um, obviously worked together at South End for, for a few years, so um, knowing how he works and knowing what he wanted, um, the opportunity to be around the first team as well. So, you know, really pleased to to come and see how you know this side of it is, and so far has been so good. And you know, um, working with Joe as well. You know, going to learn a lot there, and you know, with all the rest of the staff and the, and the club, it's been so far so good. I'm um, looking forward to hopefully you know getting a few more wins and hopefully pushing up the table. Yeah, and of course now it's uh, it's Coventry, but you're going to St Andrews. <laughs> what memories have you got of St Andrews? First of all, is that somewhere you'd look forward to go and play? I guess it's a nice venue to go and play. Yeah, absolutely. I think you know, especially as players, you know, going to a stadium of that caliber. Oh, look, listen, it's going to be different. I guess the crowd's not going to be it's not going to be a full house, but the opportunity to play in the stadium of that ilk, then I think it's a great opportunity for players to go and show what you got. And you know, it's, it's going to be a tough game. They've started out there quite well. They won their first league game at home, so you know they're, they're a decent side from what we've seen. And you know, it's going to be a tough game, but one I think we we don't need to show any fear with. Um, it's, a, it's a game we can hopefully go and impose ourselves and you know how we go about things, and, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, they have got an experienced manager there themselves, haven't they, Mark Robinson? I mean, it, it's someone that uh, you would imagine you know he's going to be. Pretty drilled in what he does and his approach to the games. Yeah, absolutely. I think you know he, he's got a great pedigree and obviously done well so far in his career. So, listen, we we know they're organised. We know how they're going to. We've looked at how they're going to play and hopefully we can come up with something that you know can give us an edge or uh, you know get us a good, get us a positive result. Um, but yeah, they'll they'll be a good side and you know they a lot of good players in there and will carry a threat. Yeah, I mean, both teams like like you, they they've sort of rediscovered their their goal scoring touch, didn't they, during the week in the cup as well? So, two teams that will be confident, I suppose, going into this one. Yeah, you'd like to think so, you know, especially from our our side of things. Um, you know, we they, like you said, they've they've scored some goals and you know got a, probably a positive feel about the place. But you know, we're the same after Tuesday night and we're, we're going to the game looking looking for a win. Yeah, at Coventry. I mean, there's a lot of big teams, that aren't there, in this in this league this season in particular. League One's full of them. Do you still see them as one of the biggest in this division? Listen, I think there's there's a lot of teams here that will, you know, I don't think it's just the size of the team. I think it's what's on the pitch that, mm. that's going to count. Um, you know, whether that is your Sunderland's, Portsmouth, the, the so-called bigger teams. But you know, you look at the likes of Lincoln, how they've started to come up a division. So there'll be, I think, right throughout the the league, there's 
you cope with different um, you know, different ways of playing, different sizes of squads, different sizes uh, of clubs, but it's all about what you do on the pitch. Yeah, and that's yeah. all we focus on and, and what we do with the players. Yeah, and, and just finally, how are the team looking in terms of injuries? Are you looking okay apart from the longer term ones? Yeah, fingers crossed. You know, everyone's come through the other night uh, seemingly okay. So, um, listen, they're gonna, it's going to happen, but like I said, we, we carry a squad for that reason. Mm. Um, you know, hopefully, from what I've seen anyway, there's more than a capable, just not just a starting eleven, but there's you know there's a squad that are all capable of coming in and playing and making a contribution.